Hey everyone, another Calgary Flames potential trades offseason video, whatever you want to call it. I already made the other video, so go check it out. But just to revisit or just go over what I already talked about, Dustin Wolf's got to be in there. You've got to look into trading one of the centers if they're not going to return. So Lindholm, one year left. Backlund, one year left. I want to see Lindholm stay in Calgary. But as this person says, hate to see Lindholm go. go. Let's see where he's got him going. So the Red Wings for Fabry, Wallander, and a first. See, again, I think, I don't know if that's enough for Lindholm. Lindholm is so underrated. He's underappreciated. And I and I truly think it might have to be more than that. But, hey, that's an interesting package, especially if the first-round pick, if they're confident they can get something significant out of it. And, obviously, it's a stacked draft. Uh, going through the retool again for the Calgary Flames. Bemstrom, I like the potential for Bemstrom. They trade Shillington, Ruzika, Vladar. See, like, what is this person? Like, that's not enough. That's not enough. Giving up those kind of players. Bringing Luke Shen to Calgary. That's interesting. Hathaway, get that grit going. Uh, Flames 2023-2024. Ruzika to Buffalo. Interesting. Hannafin for a first to Pittsburgh. Interesting. Very interesting. I like that potential. Pittsburgh's thin on the left side. And Vladar to Columbus. I've seen a lot of people suggest Vladar to Columbus after them trading Corpus Salo. Uh, trade with Philly for D'Angelo. What is this okay let's chill out with these friggin random trades um yeah delandria would be interesting i don't know i i just don't think these are beneficial moves for a retool let's see flames with the canucks and habs Ooh, see these are the intriguing trades i like mckenzie Weger to montreal Christian Dvorak, a little retention there. Second round pick, Belzeal. See, these are the trades. I like the hot takes in here. Uyghur to Montreal could be a good fit. Um, again, do they want to take on that contract, though? I don't know. Uh, but uh, I like the hot take. All right, let's let's uh, let's run it back on the, uh, let's see, retool. Okay, that's a dub. Farabee, you know what? I wonder if Philly's going to be patient for Farabee, but... That's those kind of guys that if you're the Flames, you really want to bounce back and you want to get fresh faces in the locker room. Farabee is a guy that I think will be a huge bounce back candidate. I'm probably going to make a video like that in the offseason, but I'll just put it on, on this video. Farabee is one of my huge bounce back candidates for next year. Uh, Hannafin to Pittsburgh. I mean, we're seeing it again. So Hannafin, Pittsburgh could be a potential there. Florida, we've talked about. Elias Lindholm, I've seen it a couple times in Detroit. Joe Valeno would be a guy I've, I like to get in there. So... Valeno in a first, Wallander in a first, uh, but there's got to be more to that deal in my eyes. So yeah, if it's you, you take what like the last trade I saw, so Wallander a first and a second for Lindholm. That's the kind of package you got to get if you're Calgary. Um, but uh, comment it up. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> you got to chill. The Jets are not trading Ealers. Let's chill, Flames fans. See, Flames fans are getting a little rowdy after out of the playoffs. You got to chill. All right, I think we are. Did we look at this one? No, I guess not. Oh my sheesh. Uh, let's see. Ross Colton of Calgary. Dylan Dubé. I actually, I suggested Dylan Dubé as a Tampa target. So I'll stand by that. And Duclair to Calgary. I'm seeing that a couple times. So there, maybe there's something to that. Like Duclair to Calgary, maybe. Uh, but Dubé to Tampa could be a good shout. Because, uh, I like that fit and his cap hit is reasonable. Uh, Flames trades with the Leafs and Canucks. Ooh, Elias Lindholm to Toronto. Nylander to Calgary. Okay, I like Chris Tanev to Toronto. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, my. Nick Robertson. Then you flip. What the, what's the point of that? It's a shit trade. Um, Nylander. Oh, my God. That's a lot. But you know what? The Boston's first, which is basically Sandine. I don't like trading Nylander. But if, if you're getting Elias Lindholm and Tanev... Lee fans that love the Atlanta are going to hate me for that. But Chris Tanev would be a perfect fit next to Riley. Folks, imagine a top four of Riley, Tanev, McKay, Brody. That's really solid. I mean, Lee fans, I'll just say this. If Chris Tanev becomes available at any point this offseason, Leafs have got to be in that conversation. Elias Lindholm, take Lindholm and Nylander out of this. Just go for Tanev. Sauce that first round pick from Boston and Nick Robertson for Chris Tanev. I'd be down for that. Lock her in. Um, let's go through some more. Uh, Elias Lindholm to Columbus. Hmm. 
oh my god that 2023 first round pick would be like top five so i don't think columbus is doing that obviously unless it's out of the top three but uh even that i don't think columbus is making that trade unless they get an elias Lindholm extension guaranteed uh let's go through a couple more retools here to fully to islanders i like that potential fit calgary wallstrom would be a good target if i'm the flames go after wallstrom hannafin to buffalo Austin first, that's a good shout too. I don't think they need the, that they have the need for Vladar. If anything, I would say Calgary, maybe take bring in Lucan and have a look. But uh yeah, they have Wolf, so. All right, let's some more big buy. I don't think we looked at this yet. Holy Sam Bennett back to Calgary is not happening. People gotta chill. Flames fans, relax. Uh Ryan Suzuki, first and second for Elias Lindholm. I honestly think that's real, like that's a realistic package. Uh Coleman to Dallas for Hawk and Paw in a second. I think that's potentially realistic. Uh jeez, look at that package for Nylander. See, like, I don't want Lee fans to rip me, but if Calgary's first round pick in 2023. Oh man, that's intriguing. I actually think Maja Pawnee is really underrated. I I actually See, I think the Leafs got to get more for it's Nylander. Nylander is over a point per game. I still think you got to get more there because Manja Pane has a rich contract. But in terms of on paper value, like what you're getting from Manja Pane, potentially 20 plus goals, potentially 50 plus points, two first round picks. Again, the Leafs got to do everything they can to re sign Nylander. But if it's over 10 million, risk, right? I mean, Nylander on that right wing next to either Kadri or Huberto would be uh, would be nasty. Like Huberto, Kadri, and Nylander. Phew, that's gross. Again, Leaf fans, I'm not I'm not advocating for Nylander to be traded, but uh, let's see what happens. Maybe I hey, maybe the offseason I'm saying something different. I've said Nylander <laughs> gone to the draft before. Uh, Hannafin for Reinhardt. Ooh, wow, that's intriguing. Again, I if you're if you're Florida, I think. Hannafin's interesting. Like, I want to look at Hannafin's stats quickly on my phone, but I will say this. In terms of fit, like, I know there was rumors that maybe the Panthers would trade Reinhardt at some point this offseason if they don't make the playoffs or do well. So keep an eye on that as we go through the playoffs and see what they do. Uh, but Hannafin's stats, I just want to see, because I, I do think there's a good chance the Flames could trade Hannafin. Between Hannafin, Backlund, and Lindholm, guys, do not be surprised if two of those guys are gone. So Hannafin had 38 points in 80 games, a little bit of a down year based on last year where he had 48 and 81. Yeah, you know what? Hannafin to Florida could be a good shout. I've seen a lot of people put Hannafin either in Florida or Pittsburgh, so that's interesting. Let's go through one or two more here. Uh, future, let's see, with Ottawa. Bernard Docker for Vladar. You know what? That's a good shout. Ottawa getting Vladar. I actually like that potential. And who adds? One more. Or no, that's the one we looked at. Which one Which one did we not look at here? I think it was the this one. With Seattle, yeah. Oh, Vladar to Seattle. Okay, so these are all Vladar trades. We're, we might as well just call this video, where does Vladar end up? Eh? <laughs> and we already looked at this one. Uh, or no, maybe we didn't. Hannafin to the Rangers for Cooley, Braden Schneider, and a first. See, the Rangers are going to have to give up cap in that trade. So I don't know if it's defenseman or what it is. But Hannafin to the Rangers, I mean, there's there might be a little bit of room on that left side, but you've already got Keandre Miller and Lindgren, so I don't know. But Vladar to Ottawa, I like that potential. Zadorov to Pittsburgh, there you go. Maybe. Maybe. Could totally see this being a hextal burke move, especially if Dumoulin isn't back next year. Interesting. I like that shout. Let's just look at what this person has as the lineup. So Huberto, Lindholm, Toffoli, Majapani, Kadri, Dubé, Pelche, Backlund, Coronado, Dewar, Ruzika, Coleman. Yeah, Wolf's got to be in there. As I said, guys, I think if Lindholm and Backlund, one of those guys, give a sign that they're not going to be back, maybe you give a Zarya a chance. But yeah, I, I think Toffoli, Lindholm, Backlund, Hannafin, maybe Shillington, maybe Tanev. Maybe Markstrom, who knows? But yeah, Vladar, I think, is going to be traded if they want to keep Markstrom. And Markstrom's got a no-movement clause, so he controls his destiny. So if that's the case and Markstrom wants to stay, uh, very likely that Vladar is moved. So thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit the notification bell. And yeah, Vladar, I don't know his status. But I will say, Vladar, for any team that's looking for, like, uh, I don't want to call Vladar a full-out 1B situation. Uh, but at times, he's looked like a guy that can hold his own. And I do think for Dan Vladar... He's what, like mid to late uh, 20s at this point. He's yeah, he's 25, he, 25 years old. So he, he's still growing to his own. And the fact that he's 6'5 
And Vladar, uh, yeah, he was a bit under 900 save percentage, so it wasn't ideal. But the fact that he played 27 games, he can be a really good backup for you. So I do think the Flames should consider some of these trades, especially if you can get like a third round pick for Vladar. If you can get like a second round pick uh, for, I don't know, for like Zadorov, for example. I don't know if they can get that much for Zadorov. But my point in saying this is if you can collect some draft picks and, and create some cap space for yourself, and then reevaluate because at the at the end of the day, if you create cap space and you give yourself flexibility, then you have the leverage in trades for like a potential to fully move, like a big to fully move, or a big Lindholm move, or a big backland move. Because not only can you get a lot of assets for those guys, you could also bring a contract back. So, like my example was, if you were trading with Washington, and you have the flexibility to bring a Mantha guy, like a Mantha piece back, like you're gonna get like first for those guys, right? Maybe not just one first. <laughs> Probably like a guy like Lindholm. I expect Calgary. You got to get a couple firsts in there. Uh, if it's if it's a guy like uh, Hannafin, you've got to you got to push for getting a first. So I think there's going to be different scenarios here where the Flames are looking at these bigger moves. But I think those smaller moves I just outlined to create some cap flexibility for yourself. And then yeah, you're really going to have to have tough conversations this offseason. What's a Foley's contract expiring next year? Lindholm's contract, Backlund's contract. Uh, Chris Tanev's contract, Shillington's contract. Like there's, I just listed four or five guys. So um, it's going to be interesting. But yeah, Vladar, uh, three years left. And then the next two after this at 2.2. That's 2.2 is not bad for a backup. I, I think especially if Vladar can put up 905, 910 save percentage uh, through 20 games. I think that's not bad at 2.2. But again, you don't want to pay goalies too much. So if you can get a third round pick for Vladar, and you're confident in Wolf, you should do that if you're the flame. So thank you so much, guys. As I said, subscribe, like, comment, leave uh, all your all your thoughts down below, and hit that notification bell, and check out the Hot Take Hockey Podcast. All right, more Flames and hockey videos to come. Peace.